everyone, Teeny here. I hope your day's going fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me. We're playing with pattern paper today. We're using the photo play papers. Um, this is fairly new. This is the Runner's High 12x12 collection. This is great for all those marathon runners in your life. We're going to create a card with this collection. Just using um, the pattern papers and the stickers, maybe a cut apart too. And then we're also going to be using the My Colors cardstock, the Runner's High variety pack. Um, I'm looking at this aqua tint pattern um, cardstock. We'll use this and create our card base with it. So I'm going to pick out some pattern papers and we're going to jump in and get started. I went ahead and picked out some pattern papers and I also created my card base using the Runner's High My Colors Variety cardstock. This is a really pretty um, textured paper. What I like too is it has like a linen feel to it, but when you open it up it's a nice and smooth finish. So you, writing messages are no problem. I think it'd be a little bit tough going over the textured area, but the reverse side's smooth so it makes it really nice. This is an A2 panel and it's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half inches and we're going to be using this as our card base. The pattern papers that, that I picked out, we have three of them. I have um, Live Love Run there's a whole bunch of greetings on here that, that are repeating that says, I love running. We have the shoe pattern paper I just love. It's called, It Must Be the Shoes. <laughs> I think these are pretty fabulous. And then we also have the Rise and Run. This is like a a tone on tone. It's very hard to see on camera, but it does have a little bit of distressed look to this. So we'll be using this. Now I also picked out a 12 by 12 sheet of the cut aparts and I thought we would trim away this cut apart with the joggers on it. So I'm just going to use my scissors and we're going to trim away this piece here. And then I'm going to actually bring in my paper trimmer and even up those sides. I have all my pattern papers. We're going to start by taking this pattern paper with a tennis shoes. This measures four inches wide by five and a half inches tall. This is going to go to the length of my card base, but I'm going to have a little bit of that, that card stock peeking out on the left and right. Let's go ahead and adhere this down. Okay, we have this piece of pattern paper. We're going to mat this on are cut apart here. Um, this measures three and one quarter inch by five and a quarter inches. But I do want to round the corners on the very bottom of my cut apart and this panel. So I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and we are going to just round both of these corners. Not the top, just the bottom of the cut apart. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these two together. I didn't notice this, but this is the same sheet. The, the sheet that has the cut aparts is the same one that has the I love running. Let me show you. So the cut aparts are on the reverse side. I'm going to take this and we're going to trim a quarter inch off the top. I'm going to line it up on my card base. I'm going to go all the way to the top edge and then I have this pattern paper. This is a, a one and a quarter inch tall strip. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive behind here. Line this up, making sure it's centered. And then I'm going to add this. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around and we're going to trim away anything that's overhanging. The reverse side of this is this stripe paper and I trimmed down a half inch strip. I'm going to take this and I'm going to add it towards the top here, about a quarter inch from the top. I'm going to lift this panel up and then I'm going to bring in some black twine. We're 
we're going to add a little bit of texture to our card. And then I tied a bow off to the left here. Twine and tennis shoes go good together because it kind of looks like shoelaces. I'm going to flip this over and then we're going to put some foam tape behind here. And then we're going to layer this on the top of our card base here just for a little bit of dimension. Okay. Now we're going to add some stickers. We're going to bring in our 12 by 12 runners high sticker sheet. We're going to use the word pace on our card today. But I like the spacing of these stickers. So what I'm going to do is fold over the sticker sheet like this, making sure those bottom are still there like so. Any, if you have inside pieces, pop those out. Okay. And then I trim down a piece of acetate. You can see here, I'm going to put the acetate behind those letters. I'm just going to slide them behind those letters. I'm going to press down really good and then I'm going to pick up those letters. And then they are perfectly spaced. We're kind of cheating a little bit, but Photoplay spaces these beautifully and why mess with perfection? And then if I have any of that plastic overhanging, I'm just going to use my scissors and trim it away. Kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm going to untie my bow and adjust it to where the bow is all the way to the left here, giving me a little bit more room on that upper panel. Trim the tails a little bit more, but this gives me a little bit more room because our, our pace is going to go right here. I'm going to flip this over and now. I like dimension on my cards. Even though we have dimension here already, I like a little bit more. So I'm going to use some thin strips of foam tape. And we're going to add it behind. All we need is just a few letters. Now we have foam tape behind those letters. I'm going to go ahead and take my greeting and I'm going to place it just making sure it's kind of evenly spaced. And we will tack that down. And then we're going to add a few more stickers. Okay, now I have two stickers. I have the stopwatch and then the sticker that says pace yourself. I'm going to kind of layer these together, tack that down right below those letters that say pace. Maybe we need a water bottle too, add in a little bit extra color. Loving that. For, fin for finishing touches, I'm bringing in my glossy accents. I'm going to go over the water bottle here, just to give this a little extra dimension. Okay, I think that's just what that needed. And that will finish off my card project today. We got a little shine on that water bottle. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we used the Photo Play Papers Runner's High 12 by 12 collection pack. A fun project using the pattern papers and the stickers in that collection. Um, thanks so much for joining me. If you guys are interested, I have two more videos to share with you using pattern papers. There's the top one here and then the bottom. Um, click on one of those and they'll take you right to that video um, using some more pattern papers. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.